Hi guys, good morning. My name uh, still remains Biodon Solar It is a cold uh, morning today. Today is a we have some showering today. Uh, welcome to my page on YouTube. Uh, this is your uh, favorite anchor on cartridge farm, Biodon Solar DTM, the anchor of cartridge solution place and academy. Uh, today we are working in a farm that I manage, uh, which uh, uh, I normally encourage guys, if you want to be really successful in cartridge business, there are some secrets that can make you uh, very, very successful. And though one of the secrets I mentioned in one of my video on YouTube is uh, uh, appropriate sorting which is uh, probably very, very important uh, for farmers. But uh, sometimes when I do preaches, when I do lectures, or when I do seminars for people, or when I come to your farm for vegetation and training, and uh, I do elaborate more on uh, how sorting is very, very important uh, to your farm. Most people don't believe, but uh, the fact is that uh, what I do uh, is what I do preaches is what I do practices. So this is a relatively very, very uh, seems as entirely important as a farmer to be successful. Because uh, in every successful business, there, there's a secret. So uh, this happens to every business you can ever talk to, uh, talk of all over the world. Whenever you uh, having a success in a business, please try to go beyond uh, the activities of the business. You will find out that there's a, there's a secret. So one of the secrets uh, is certain, which I will still be laying more uh, elaboration, more uh, explanation on this uh, video as well, because it's my plight and my uh, joy for everyone in business to be successful please note i'm not talking about cartridge business alone i'm a financial uh, a person i am um, a man i'm a mental managerian of a business and uh, keeping records and keeping books for companies so i uh, i'm talking on the perspective of a financial uh, person i said it in one of my video that if you really want to be in successful in your business not even catfish now catfish to me is a business but not farming so i normally preach this in most of my lectures so anytime you are investing on a particular subject matters relatively because of the cause effect and the cost of implementation it you have turned that subject matter into a business because i never see anybody that will want to invest in a business and uh, will not want to be successful so but today i'll be talking about uh, a factor that is very very important to as a farmer which i call the secret of a successful cartridge business the topic i will just be talking on is inside my book there is a book I have that is selling very, it's a best seller, it's a fast selling book on card feature management, uh, which I tagged the secret of a successful cartridge business. So I'm just pinpointing just a title from this uh, book to give you this a uh, brief lecture that I think I will have the part one, part two, maybe part three, but uh, because I just want to cut it off. And I just want to make it a simpler explanation. So I'll be giving you some facts that you need to know that can make you successful in cartridge farming. The secret of a successful cartridge farmer. So as you can be seen on this video, the sizes of fishes we I am sorting at present they are not juvenile, they are not fingerlings, they are not post fryers because uh, uh, I do, many farmers do have that mentality that is when your fish is, when one is bigger than one at a stage, at the infant stage, that means the juvenile stage, that is when you do your sorting. Sorting are meant to do regardless on 
how you stock your pond and two how you can manage your farm and three the types of pond you are really using that is what determines your sorting level let me give you an instance if you are using an eating pond it seems very very difficult to do an appropriate sorting but don't get me twisted there are two there are very early about three types of uh, eating pond but i'll just mention two types of it now we have the one with the moldy sand and we have that means the clay sand and we have the one with the sharp sands for those that is using the one with the sharp sand they have that opportunity for sorting adequate sorting always so but those that are using the muddy type because uh, the base of the etching pond seems so muddy for them they find it sometimes difficult for sorting so this is the way i categorize it for farmers if you are for those farmers using a surface pond that means concrete tarpaulin plastic pond that do sorting as you can see on this video that do regular sorting it but they are using water the water they are using is much so there's a way of you getting it right if you are using an eating pond because you have already saved the water usage another thing is that most people as a farmer did not know that if water is cost the uh, money that you use in pumping water alone is more than the overhead of your business because catfish business involves waters many farms as today pour out nothing less than 1000 to 10000 um, liters of water wasted every day but if you are costing it maybe you are costing the water you do a costing of water that a water a liter of water will cost 100 naira by the time you multiply it you can see how cost effective this is so it is very very important for you guys to take this aspect very very important but I promise you today that I will be going into a topic which I call the secret of the Swiss cartridge business. The one you just add now is just the preamble, introduction of what you'll be listening uh, today. The secret now is that one. There are some measures that you need to take into consideration when you are stocking your fishes. This start from when you hatch your fishes. When you hatch your fishes as a breeder or as a farmer, that means a week of hatching, there's a scale that you need to know the percentage of feed this feed will take and the weight they have at that particular period. Let me just cite an example for you. When your fishes are one week, your fishes to, to be at a centimeter of just one centimeter and a gram of one gram. And about that time, their feed intake should be nothing less than one mm size of feed. Again, when they are two weeks old, you should have a ruling, a rule, that means a tape rule or a ruler in order to measure their centimeter if they are doing well or not, which is primarily very, very important. When they are two weeks, they should be at a size of 1.2 centimeter, weighing 0.3 grams and feeding on 3 mm feed. Note, when they are not like 1.2 centimeter, maybe they are still below 1.2 centimeter, that tells you there's something wrong with the fishes. One, is it that you do what? Because your, your cost implication on that particular stock is done that, that much at that particular time it's better for you want to wash it out if you are raising uh, breeding so i was taking i will be taking i will be going further more on this my explanation so that you can really understand what i'm driving at when your fishes are three weeks and you check their centimeter you should be having nothing less than three to four centimeters Sometimes, if your fishes are doing well, maybe you did not overpopulate your archery, that means your incubator. Your fishes may be more speeder 
at that level. At that level, you may be having this what you call the post, uh, the pre, uh, the prefingerly stage, which normally popularly called the uh, ejebu size. So at that particular three weeks, you should be having not less than four, three to four centimeters long, and their grams to be zero point five. That means point five grams. And at about a particular period, they should be eating 0.3 to 0.5 mm. So moving further to four weeks. In four weeks, your fish is to be at a measurement of 0, 4 to 5 centimeters, weighing 1 to 2 grams. And then they should be feeding on 0 0.5 to 0. 8 mm at 4 to 5 weeks. As these 4 to 5 weeks, some people still there as Ijebu, their standard Ijebu, that means their standard post fries, which people can sell. But at that particular period, because they are infant seeds, before because they are still smaller seeds, I don't expect you, if they are not weighing, maybe at 4 weeks that they should be weighing, uh, the, the, the centimeter should be five centimeter, and you still find out that their the centimeter is still maybe two centimeters. What I would advise you then is that please make sure that you pour them away, throw it away, don't sell it to farmers. Because selling to farmers, the gene normally tells you you are having runt. Because one, it may be runt, or their growth has been started through maybe your management. When their growth is being stunted, this will really affect your fishes. So I will be ending this today. I will, con I will continue this in the part to make sure that you subscribe, press on the notification button to get the part two.